our story height and um, the difference and editing our story we check we thoroughly check the 3d and everything is in place the next thing we are going to do right now is to analyze the structure and design the, the structural members so we go back to our plan view now to perform our analysis on the structure and also to apply and also to design the structure we will click on analysis tab and click on building analysis then we will go further by to on clicking on editing materials this is where we will choose our concrete um, material and um, so choose our concrete strength our concrete strength I will use um, C16 to 20, which is the which, which is the cube strength um, 20 and the and the cylinder strength 16. So I will just say apply to all. I think that what I would have done. I will say apply to all since it's all concrete. Apply to all. And I will go for steel, which is the reinforcement. I will choose 410. Type 2, I'll say apply to all and I'll say OK. Then I'll go to foundation and check foundation. I want to use the same and say apply to all. So click. We have the same thing. Then for foundation, diameter bar, which is the diameter, I want to use, um, I'll use, I'll just quickly select all and I'll select, then pick. The ones I want to use, I want to use Y12, the diameter 12 for the reinforcement for the, of the foundation. I will just say OK. And the links, I will just select all and select. And I will choose only diameter 10, which is Y10. I will say OK. Then I will go to default materials. For the column reinforcement, I will select all and deselect and i'll choose i want to use only y16 which is diameter 16 for the reinforcement of the column and then we we, we don't have wall so i'll skip uh, concrete wall the next thing we have is beam i'll choose diameter of beam select all and deselect and now i want to use only y only diameter 16 which is y16 for the reinforcement size of beam so I'll select only that. Then I'll go for slab. Slab, I'll select all and select. I want to use only diameter 12, which is the reinforcement diameter of size of 12. And I'll say OK. Then I'll go. I'll, we don't have rib slab, so I'll skip rib slab. We have links which we we'll use for the beam and the columns. So I'll select all and select and choose only Y10. This side diameter 10, which is Y10. And then that's all we don't have pull lines, we don't have all this. These ones are for steel. So I'll quickly say okay. Then you can see we now have changes done, and the all our concrete materials is um C 16 and 20, and um our reinforcement steel grade is grade 14 type 2. Then I'll go on by saying loading combination. I'll click and I'll just say and I'll click on loading generator and I'll say okay and I'll click on okay and I'll just say then I'll go to um, parameters parameters this is where you can you can change the code if you want to change your code but we are using BS 8010 which is the which is the British code so I'll quickly go to foundations Foundations, the, the bearing capacity, which is the bearing pressure for from the geotechnical report is 135. So um I'll go for lateral loading. We don't have any any lateral loading on this building. We don't have any lateral drift. Then we are go for title. The project header is um the project header is five story. Sorry, not five story, five bedroom.
Add between duplex structural design or just a design made by is made by me, engineer justice. Check by my boss, engineer Peter. Project number zero one dash zero four. Project date, the date which this project was is done is 20th April 2022. So I'll just say 20th 04 2022. And I'll say okay. So with this, I can now click on analysis. Now click on check all and I'll say with lead bar if any failure. But I pray but I know we don't have any failure. We won't have any failure so i'll go and click start so with this now by clicking start i automatically we are trying to analyze the the this whole structure right now the bidding analysis have started it took only 0.78 seconds to perform the building analysis which is almost done okay now we are about entering to column design now it's trying to design the column now we have entered the design stage is performing the column design now we have entered uh, the beam design so it's performing, it's performing the beam design awesome be done this is the last stage then we'll not enter into foundation design by the time we we do our foundation we carry out our foundation design then we are done with, with the design stage we will now enter into structural detailing so the beam design of is, is, uh, is almost done just wait a bit it doesn't take time that much so i i i i think you're okay now we have the building analysis is completed successfully so click on ok and then click close so looking at this now we will have to this is how you perform a structural analysis and design after modeling all your structure then the next thing we'll do right now is to go for building interrogation we we'll have to go and interrogate with the design so we'll click on visual interrogation which is this icon at this stage at this area click on visual interrogation here so clicking that right now i want to see the design area so i'll take design status and i'll click on okay so knowing that any color if you have any color green green means that your design is perfectly okay red means that that design that's that uh, structural element is failing yellow means warning and so this, this this these are the color codes so right now we are all our design elements the beam the column and the slabs they all show green saying that it is perfectly okay so this is how we perform our structural design like i said this is a practical base if we also look at the 3d to see if maybe you will see any other color okay we have only green color so our structural design analysis is perfectly okay so with this we can go back to plan view so we go back so we go off from the visual interrogation say none it's okay so this is how we perform our building analysis and design and this is how we do our structural design using proto structure now the next stage now is to go for structural detailing